Hi, hi everyone. Okay, for today's lesson, we are going to do reading. So we are going to do reading uh, for unit four, uh, which is being a teen in your full blast plus textbook. Okay, so we are going to do reading from page 52 of your textbook. So you can refer to your textbook. So let's read the discussion part first. Okay, let's read the discussion part first. Okay, do you think teenagers in your country get a good education? So teenagers is there, I've written there, remaja. So awak rasa teenagers in your country, negara awak, dapat pendidikan yang baik? Okay, what do you think? In my opinion, we do have a good education system, right? It's just that maybe we are not that, that developed in a way that maybe... Not to say we are too good, but we are getting towards a better system. Okay, kita mungkin nak lagi baik lah sekarang. Okay, let's look at the next discussion. What would you like to learn more about at school? Apa yang awak nak belajar lagi kalau di sekolah? What would you like to learn at school? Like for example, ada orang dia nak belajar, ada orang dia nak belajar pasal komputer, ada orang dia nak belajar pasal like, okay, Let's see what would you like to do, to learn more in school. Like for example, you can learn about nowadays you guys are so into this um, online game. All right, online game. Okay, online games. Some of you would, would be, you know, uh, professional gamers. You would also like to learn about probably... Sports, majority of you love sports kan, ramai yang suka su sukan, okay? And maybe some of you would also like, for example, if you go to a technical school kan, sekolah uh, vocational, you would learn about fashion, okay? You would learn about fashion, you would learn about um, culinary, ha? Huh? What is culinary? Culinary, culinary bermaksud um, uh, masakan. Okay, ada orang nak belajar pasal masakan, ada orang nak belajar pasal benda-benda macam ni. Okay, so maybe those things yang mungkin kita nak belajar. Okay, now kita look at this part here. Q&A education. Okay, aku masuk Q&A. Q. Q stands for questions. Okay, Q stands for questions. So kalau if I were to draw... Okay, I would, if I were to show you, what does Q stands for? Okay, Q stands for question. Okay, so what about A? What about A? A stands for answer. Okay. Q adalah question, A adalah answer. So, that's the Q&A education. Education, apa maksud education? Education bermaksud pendidikan. Okay, pendidikan adalah education. Itu benda yang kita kena belajar dan kita kena faham lah. Okay, so I undo everything there. Let's go to the reading part. Saya akan baca, you guys dengar nanti awak boleh buat Uh, apa? Awak boleh buat, uh, awak boleh jawab soalan yang ada dalam textbook. Okay. This Q&A education, cuba tengok kita ada one, kita ada two and kita ada three, four. Okay, four um, questions here. Sebab kenapa saya kata question? Dia ada tanda soal tu. Kita ada four questions. Kita akan baca question ni dulu. Probably, ini bahagian question, ini bahagian answer. This is the answer part. You guys need to discuss this. Okay, kita look at question one dulu. Is it true that we use only 10% of our brains? Okay, this question is posed atau ditanya oleh Adrian Lewis from Newcastle. Is it true? True maksudnya benar. Adakah ini benar? We use only 10%. Kita use, guna. Kita guna 10%, sorry. We use, kita guna 
10% of our brain. Kita hanya guna 10% saja daripada brain kita. Okay, adakah itu benar? Okay, this is the question. Jawapan mana yang kita kena cari nanti kita tengok balik. Now, look at number two. Question number number two. I'm thinking of homeschooling. Okay, I'm thinking of homeschooling. So, homeschooling. Apa maksud homeschooling? Okay, homeschooling bermaksud. Kalau saya tulis kat sini. Uh, belajar di rumah. Bermaksud belajar di rumah adalah. Apa maksud belajar di rumah adalah. Sorry. Apa yang dimaksudkan dengan belajar di rumah adalah um, This happens a lot in America Normally in America they will have this kind of thing uh, But I think some of Malaysians also do this kind of thing Especially now kita dah PDPR kan Ramai juga mak ayah yang decide nak ajak anak sendiri di rumah Dia tak hantar anak ke sekolah So homeschooling means that anak-anak uh, tu belajar Uh, daripada di rumah saja Dia belajar mungkinlah ada tutor datang ke rumahnya Atau mak ayah sendiri yang mengajar Okay, itu yang mungkin yang berlaku So, now My children, uh, I'm thinking of Thinking, saya fikir I'm thinking of homeschooling my children In the future Children adalah kanak-kanak So, children Kalau singular adalah child Tapi kalau children maksud dia Ramai, lebih daripada satu In the future pada masa akan datang. Is it a good idea? This is a question from Tricia Wright from Mitcham. Okay. So, dia tanya, uh, okay tak? Good idea tak kita nak ajar anak uh, di rumah saja? Okay, belajar di rumah saja. Tak payah pergi sekolah. Is it okay? So, this is the question. Awak rasa soalan ni, uh, mana jawapan yang daripada A, B, C atau D nanti? Yang mana jawapan dia? Okay, now question number three. I read that by the year 2100, computers will have replaced teachers. Ah, interesting ni. Pada tahun 2100 to 2100, okay, 2100 ataupun 2100. Kita boleh sebut, uh, kita boleh guna dua-dua. Okay, dua-dua kita boleh guna. Okay, have replaced, will... The computer, computers replace teacher. Okay, replace bermaksud ganti. Okay, replace bermaksud ganti. I will ask you, I will let you sekarang ni duduk depan textbook. Tolong jot down sikit makna-makna uh, yang ada. At least you know uh, this uh, uh, definition. Okay. Replace teacher. Akan ganti teacher. Is that true? Adakah ini benar? Adakah benda ni akan berlaku? Okay, maksudnya komputer akan menggantikan cikgu. Adakah this thing will happen? Okay, by this question is posed by Phil Taylor, Stoke on Trend. Okay, now question yang terakhir. My cousin keeps telling me that Einstein failed at school. Ni gambar Einstein eh. Okay, ni gambar Einstein. So Einstein adalah famous uh, scientist yang sangat terkenal yang mungkin kalau awak nak, nak tahu lebih banyak, awak google je. Awak akan tahu lebih banyak lah pasal dia. Okay, my cousin. Apa maksud cousin? Cousin adalah sepupu. Okay. Keep telling me. Bagi tahu saya Einstein fail at school. Gagal di sekolah. Is he right? Adakah ia, adakah yang cousin saya cakap tu betul? This is a question by Rebecca Rebecca, Rebecca Rose Leicester. Okay. Now we are going to read the uh, the answers. Kita akan postkan, kita akan bagi jawapan which is uh, which is the answer. For each of the questions. So can can we look at question one dulu. Uh, apa, sorry, answer one dulu. A. This is very unlikely. Unlikely maksudnya mungkin tak tak boleh jadi kot. Benda ni tak munasabah. Okay. Teachers are more than just machines. Okay. Cikgu lebih daripada uh, mesin. Okay. Bukan mesin saja. That provides learner with information and correct exercises. Yang menyediakan learners. Yang menyediakan, provide, sediakan Learners adalah uh, Awak lah Pelajar-pelajar, okay Orang yang belajar, kita panggil learners Belajar, learn Orang yang belajar, learners, okay uh, With information and correct exercises Okay, cikgu ni bukannya hanya sediakan 
uh, information saja ataupun bagi exercise atau latihan yang betul. They show student how to use information. Mereka menunjukkan kepada pelajar bagaimana menggunakan informasi, help them, bantu mereka with their individual needs. Individual maksudnya uh, yang personal, seorang-seorang, bukannya secara berkumpulan. Needs adalah keperluan. Dan and sorry and questions as well as notice if someone is experiencing problem. Okay, so probably cikgu pun akan tolong mereka yang ada keperluan yang tersendiri ataupun ada soalan yang tersendiri as well as dan juga notice, sedar, realise if someone experiencing problem. Jika seseorang menghadapi atau mengalami experience masalah. Computers cannot provide this human and emotional side to learning. Okay, computers tidak boleh menyediakan manusia, human, and emotional side to learning. Okay, emotional. Betul. Computer ataupun machine, they don't have emotions, right? We human, kita ada emotion. So that's why. Kalau kita belajar, kita juga belajar, orang kata apa? The emotion part of it. So, cikgu kalau computer, they will not provide us with that. Maybe like, a real human teacher would provide you with that, right? Okay. Also, students get distracted. Okay, distracted bermaksud terganggu. Distract. Terganggu easily. Mudah terganggu. So, if teachers wasn't there to get them to pay attention, who would? So, the idea that looking at you guys now, I'm not sure how you guys are learning now. Where are you now? But the thing is, if there's no teacher in front of you, Sometimes you are distracted. Tak ada cikgu depan awak, awak distracted. Awak tak nak dengar cikgu cakap apa kan. So, so kalau siapa yang nak bagi awak, who would, who would like make you pay attention? Siapa yang akan buat you pay attention, right? So, the teachers are going to help you in that in that, in that that case, right? Okay, continue. Where am I? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, sorry. Learners might just remain in front of the screen without getting any work. This could happen to you. Okay, learners, pelajar mungkin duduk depan screen, depan komputer without getting any work, tanpa belajar langsung. Okay, without getting any work done. Maksudnya, duduk depan komputer tengok saja, tak, tak ada benda yang siap pun. However, it is true that as time goes by, we will see more and more learning taking place on computers and teacher will work alongside them. This is so true. Look at what I'm doing now. I'm using YouTube. I'm, I'm using uh, Zoom meeting. I'm using a lot of like uh, these technology devices, like technologies nowadays, actually to be connected with you guys at home. Looking at our situation now with, during this pandemic, dalam masa pandemic macam ni. So this is one of the way for me to be connected with you guys. Antara satu, salah satu cara lah untuk saya, orang kata apa, berhubung dengan awak semua. Okay. Nak sangat you guys belajar. So, same thing. Saya nak awak belajar. So, I hope you guys learn something lah. Rugi sebab kita tak dapat jumpa face to face. But, I hope this is one of the way that could make you learn something. Okay. Kita dah divert tempat lain. So, kita continue balik. Uh, now. So, this one. Teachers. Uh, okay, now. A. So, which one would be the the this A. Awak rasa mana jawapan yang sesuai? Eh, soalan yang sesuai untuk A. You guys answer on your own dulu. Nanti ke, uh, apa? you guys answer this on your own. Okay, let's read B. This is a popular belief. Okay, ini adalah kepercayaan. Belief adalah kepercayaan. Kepercayaan yang sangat terkenal. Especially by those who are trying to prove the existence of psychic power such as telepathy. Okay, this is kepercayaan yang sangat Terkenal. Sometimes orang percaya benda-benda macam ni. Ada orang macam kalau like Malay people, they will they will believe this like you know like benda yang tahyul, this kind of a bomo kind of thing. So believe adalah kepercayaan. Okay. So especially by those who are trying to prove the existence. Especially untuk mereka yang cuba membuktikan the existence, kewujudan, psychic power. Okay. Kuasa-kuasa uh, psychic ni Kuasa-kuasa macam contoh like boleh terbang Benda yang tak logik Those kind of thing like macam super power Macam superman those kind of thing Okay uh, Such as telepathy Okay telepathy means what uh, Like uh, Orang boleh baca apa dalam kepala otak kita I guess like telepathy Like uh, people say that people who are twins They have this telepathy Meaning to say uh, if one of the twins 
uh, sad, the other twins akan rasa macam rasa, oh, twin, saya rasa sedih juga. So, the telepathy is that. Okay? That is like psychic power kind of thing. Okay? They say that we, uh, as we use only 10% of our brain, mereka kata, kita bila kita guna hanya 10% daripada otak kita, brain, we will, uh, we will be capable of, we will be, Uh, we will be capable of incredible things when we actually start using 100%. Dia cakap, kita boleh, kita mampu, capable of incredible things. Perkara-perkara yang hebat, yang menakjubkan. When we actually start using 100%. Bila kita menggunakan 100% daripada kita punya otak. Okay. People probably got this wrong idea. So this is wrong. Okay, orang mungkin dapat idea yang salah from scientific discoveries in the late 90th, 19th century, sorry, 19th century that showed that only 10% of our brain is working actively at any one time. Okay, this is what dia cakap pasal uh, pada zaman uh, 19 zaman kurun ke-19, late kurun ke-19. Okay, scientific discovery. Ada satu penemuan scientific Okay, pada kurun 19 yang menunjukkan hanya 10%, 10% daripada brain kita working actively, bekerja secara aktif at any one time pada masa satu satu pada satu satu masa. Okay, so pada satu masa tu 10% saja daripada otak kita yang very active. Okay, however this does not mean that the remaining 90% is unused. Okay, tapi bagaimana walau bagaimanapun, however Okay, this does not mean, ini tidak bermakna the remaining 90% is unused. Meaning to say, remain. Yang selebihnya, yang 90% yang selebihnya tidak digunakan. We use every part of our brain. Okay, this is scientific uh, facts. Kita guna semua part. Dalam brain kita ni, kita guna semua. But at different time, pada masa yang berbeza and in different amount. Pada jumlah yang berbeza. Maksudnya, masa yang berbeza mungkin kita pakai part belah sini. And then mungkin berbeza pada time beza, kita pakai banyak ni, kita pakai banyak ni. So, those kind of thing. Okay. The way we use our brain is similar to the way we use different muscles in on uh, in our body. Meaning to say, cara kita guna brain kita, otak kita, sama, similar to the way we use different muscle. Cara kita guna kita punya muscle. Muscle tu adalah... Muscle, awak tahu? Uh, alah, korang selalu sebut muscle kan. Suddenly, I lost the definition that. But I I hope you guys know. Muscle. Okay, in our body. We do not use every single muscle all at once. True. Kita tak guna semua muscle kita pada satu masa. Sometimes, kalau kita nak angkat barang, kita guna muscle dekat tangan saja. And kita nak berjalan, kita atau kita nak berlari, kita guna muscle di kaki saja. Tak semestinya kita guna dua-dua tangan atau kaki pada satu masa. Betul tak? So, those kind of thing. Okay. So, which question... Would, would uh, you know, which uh, question would actually suit this kind of answer? Okay, you guys discuss first. Uh, you guys guess. Okay, I read C now. No, it's a myth. Bukan. Ia adalah satu legenda. Benda yang tak benar. Bukanlah benda tak benar. Meaning to say myth is something that kita tak boleh prove lagi. Kita tak tahu benda tu betul atau tidak. Okay. In fact, he was very a very good student. In fact, he, now kita bercakap pasal he, seorang lelaki, okay, a very good student, seorang student yang sangat bagus. It's true that he failed a university entrance exam when he was 16. Tapi benar, dia fail, dia gagal untuk kemasukan universiti. Okay, ada satu exam untuk masuk satu universiti pada umur 16 tahun. Can you imagine, dia nak masuk universiti umur 16 tahun eh. Okay, kita normally as uh, Malaysian, normally kita masuk universiti uh, 18, uh, like, no 20 20 19 years old kita akan mas- boleh masuk universiti but for this person sangat bijaklah 16 years old dah nak masuk universiti however this was because his education had focused more on science and math and his knowledge of the other subjects wasn't as strong so here he's talking about bagaimanapun this was because in this was because ini sebabkan kenapa dia gagal his um his education had focus Pendidikan dia berfokus kepada strongly more on science dan juga matematik. Science dan matematik and his knowledge of other subjects. Knowledge dia berkenaan subjek lain 
wasn't as strong tak kuat mana so meaning tu mungkinlah sebab tu dia gagal masuk okay he failed the non science part of the exam dia gagal bahagian yang bukan science dalam examination tu peperiksaan itu but the following year he passed although he was a year younger than his fellow students meaning to say tahun seterusnya tu dia ambil lagi exam tu dan dia pass my dear and he is still younger than other students yang masuk Nobody knows why this miss exists. Tak ada orang tahu kenapa you know this legenda atau benda ni exists. But it could be because in his final year the school reverse their marking system. Okay, mungkinlah masa dia dekat oh sorry, uh, his his school reverse his marking system meaning to say dia marking system meaning to say mungkinlah sekolah tu dia reverse, dia tukar marking system cara pemarkahan. Okay, The highest mark used to be one, but it became six. Okay, so dulu highest mark dulu satu, tapi jadi enam. So people looking back over his marks probably thought Einstein had failed with so many ones. Okay, so mungkin orang nampak dalam dia punya result dia semua banyak satu satu satu. Sedangkan zaman dulu satu itu hebat. Okay, tapi dia dah tutukan sistem kan. The fact is that Einstein was an outstanding physicist and mathematician. Fakta yang sebenar adalah Einstein adalah seorang yang outstanding, sangat hebat, sangat luar jangka, jangkauan kita, very clever, very intelligent, physicist, okay, pakar atau ahli fizik dan juga ahli matematik. So there's no point in using him as an excuse for not doing your homework. So tak boleh guna eh, tak boleh kata. Einstein tak pergi sekolah pun, Einstein gagal je. Uh, so uh, tak apalah tak buat kerja rumah. No, no no excuse ah. Huh? You cannot use Einstein as your excuse. Tak boleh guna. Okay, the last one. D. Well, some people believe so but others don't. Okay, okay jadi dekat sini ada ramai uh, some not ramai tapi beberapa orang percaya tapi ada ada juga yang tidak percaya in the UK and USA so dalam di Britain lah Britain dan juga di Amerika a lot of children are educated at home every year ramai kanak-kanak yang yang belajar di rumah setiap tahun but it is still illegal in certain countries tapi masih lagi uh, illegal maksudnya haram di uh, beberapa country As many believe that it got a lot of disadvantages. Ramai orang percaya uh, belajar di rumah ni, homeschooling ni ada, uh, sorry saya dah sebut jawapan dah tu. Okay, <laughs> disadvantages ada kekurangan sangat banyak. Okay, talking about uh, being illegal. Hmm. Um, I I never knew that uh, Malaysia buat benda tu illegal tapi mungkinlah ada certain-certain negara yang katakan illegal tapi kalau macam kita for example mungkin nak kata illegal tu tak tapi mungkin kalau kita nak apply pada satu-satu benda kita nak result SPM right so that's that's probably why tak ramai mak ayah yang uh, willing to do the homeschooling dekat Malaysia sebab kita nak sija tu probably I'm not really sure okay so saya sambung For instance, contohnya, homeschooled children do, don't have the opportunity to interact with other children. Okay, this is so true. Uh, contohnya, kanak-kanak yang belajar di rumah don't have the opportunity, tiada peluang to interact, berhubung atau bergaul with other children, kanak-kanak lain. Mungkin like if like for example, uh, dia... Uh, you uh, you you don't have any siblings siblings maksudnya adik beradik awak tak ada adik beradik so the interaction between the your like among children so masa you you and another children is lesser mungkin awak bercakap dengan orang tua but you tak pernah bercakap dengan orang yang sebaya so that's kind of thing lah okay supporters of homeschooling say that their children don't actually miss out on anything as they spend time with their siblings and also take part in different social events where they interact with people of all ages okay untuk supporters orang yang menyokong homeschooling kata uh, their children kanak-kanak mereka don't actually miss out on anything Maksudnya tak terlepas ataupun tak terlepas peluang untuk apa-apa pun as they spend time sebab dia meluangkan masa dengan uh, adik-beradik, siblings yang saya cakap tadi. And also take part in different social events. Take part maksudnya uh, join, participate ataupun menyertai different social event. 
majlis-majlis contoh macam jamuan macam gotong royong that is what we call as social events social means that orang boleh ada maksudnya majlis atau kerajaan yang orang boleh bergaul okay this kind of thing lah where they interact with people of all ages di mana mereka boleh bercakap atau interact okay berhubung dengan orang uh, setiap Umur punya ni lah. So maybe yang tua, yang muda. Okay, this kind of thing. Homeschool children are able to work at their own speed. Okay. Kanak-kanak yang belajar di rumah mam- boleh bekerja atau buat kerja pada orang kata apa, kelajuan atau speed dia mereka sendiri. Dia tak perlu macam tergesa-gesa. And receive more attention than in the classroom. Dan menerima lebih atan- uh, perhatian berbanding dengan classroom. Uh, this is true. Like for example, kalau like for example, awak belajar di rumah and then um, mak awak mengajar awak. So, your mom only have you to pay attention to. Like for a teacher, probably in classroom, they will have like 30, 40 children. Ada 30, 40 kanak-kanak. So, they will not be able to give the same amount of attention. Mungkin lah attention for to uh, a teacher to you, mungkin tak sebanyak yang your parent boleh bagi dekat awak. Okay, however, homeschooling is not easy. Okay, tapi walau, walau bagaimanapun, Belajar di rumah bukan senang. On the parents, pada ibu bapa awak. As it means that either the father father or the mother can't work full time. So meaning to say, if you are homeschool, your father or your mother tak boleh bekerja full time. They need to pay attention to you. Which can create financial difficulties. Mungkin akan mem, me, 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 mencipta atau menghasilkan atau mem, membuahkan. Uh, financial difficulties means uh, masalah keuangan financial maksudnya keuangan okay for men for many families banyak keluarga yang ada masalah ni kalau you guys are kaya probably this is not going to be ha- not going to be a problem for you tapi if like uh, normal family uh, this is going to uh, create a problem it also requires a lot of organization time and planning by the parents who uh, teachers sorry this is teachers ah huh? teaches their children okay they akan requires a lot of organization banyak orang kata apa uh, uh, awak kena organize banyak susun banyak benda lah plan plan you need to plan uh, organization time and planning you kena plan uh, by the parents untuk yang mengajar kanak-kanak mereka sendiri so in the end it's up to you so at the end of the day up to the parent lah dia nak mengajar anak dia di rumah atau tidak or dia nak hantar anak di sekolah it's up to them so So now I've done with the reading. So what I want you guys to do as your homework is try to match the question and also the answer. And also please answer this question. Question D, question E. Okay, question D and question E in your book one. Okay, book one. So do this and this in book one. Okay, I think that's all for today's lesson. Make sure you finish this one. Uh, and I'll, I hope to see you guys in the future. Okay, bye-bye.